Is this the new norm, or have we seen this play before? Let's ask Marilyn Cohen. Hi, Marilyn. Hi. <laughs> Is well, it the new norm? Well, you know, we've, it's all messed up. So we've, we've had situations like this before. It's always just a little different color and a little different tweak on it. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think we'll, we'll struggle through it, but it will be challenging. It will be challenging. And because of this, and investors are nervous and they make mistakes. What are some of the common investor mistakes that you've seen? The common investment mistakes that I've seen by individuals in the bond market um, is uh, concentration. They buy too many of the same type of bonds in the same industry, specifically. Many, many do-it-yourselfers buy too many bank bonds, too many brokerage bonds. Those are financials. And the financials are always the most volatile when things go awry. And the way this happens is it's really, uh, it's not overt. It just happens. You know, most people have multiple brokerage accounts. Maybe they have a Morgan Stanley account. Maybe they have a Fidelity. Maybe they have a Schwab. And they go, oh, here's a Bank of America bond. Oh, here's a JP Morgan bond. Oh, look at this Sally Mae bond. And if they ever looked at all three accounts as one, they usually end up with 50, 60 percent in financials. Oh. And that's what tanked many of their portfolios during the credit crisis. So I think keeping the allocation down 10 to 15 percent in any one sector is the way to go. So over allocation has always been a very big problem for the do it yourself. Gosh, yes, I, that, that, <laughs> no diversification there will definitely hurt you. What's another mistake you see? I think another mistake is sticking around when the story has changed and hoping and praying everything will be fine. Specifically, a company starts to stumble in their, uh, uh, you know, in how they're managing their business, or management uh, decides to take a lot of the valued money off of their balance sheet to do some kind of acquisition that doesn't make any sense to you. People say, "Well, let's give them a chance. Let's go ahead and, and go with the flow." and if it doesn't make sense to you, you got to get out of Dodge. And I think that people just stick around with their bonds. Oh, if they, you know, they say to themselves and they've said to me, if it turns out, then I'll, I'll just wait till, uh, till maturity. I'll be fine. Not necessarily. Why? A lot of people think that they're going to get all their money back at maturity. What's, what's the wrong with that thinking? Well, because if, if the uh, company has gone outside of what they usually do, buy a business that they, they've never integrated into their business model before, if management changes and is no longer bond friendly, I just think that you can't set it and forget it, Karen. You've got to be proactive in your bond portfolio, just like you're proactive in your equity portfolio. You. Hoping and praying belongs in the churches and synagogues, not in your bond portfolio. Yeah, and especially in these volatile times, you just can't just sit, set it and forget it. Exactly. Marilyn, thank you. My pleasure. Marilyn Cohen's been my guest. You're watching the moneyshow.com video network.